Hi, welcome back to Hypercraft. That feels weird to say instead of welcome back to Realmtel. I feel like I always do it with Realmtel, but Realmtel will be back hopefully soon. We have some things in the background, so don't completely let out on that series. Nothing is promised for sure, but we are working on something. Anyways, we're not here to talk about Realmtel as great as it is. We're here to talk about Hypercraft. As you can tell by that cinematic intro and probably the thumbnail, we've made some serious base plans by the end of this episode. I say that hoping that I do actually do something. I'm not sure yet. However, as you can see, we have marked out with the netherrack blocks a 35 by 35 area for the base and it's going to be completely underground i've done that a lot in the past the hidey hole comes to mind from realm Tale season one however we're going to do an underground base completely covered in glass should be a lot of fun let's get to starting so i mean basically the starter base is going to house a lot of the things that i already have we have the villagers in here however they look hideous same thing with all my farms they actually do kind of look cool with the stripes of different types of crops however up on the surface it's just ugly i want to make an automatic pumpkin and melon farm i want to make an automatic sugarcane farm i just want to kind of make the base look nice and be practical there's a lot of things we have to do all right, so I've done some work just flattening the area around me. So there used to be a huge mountain over in that direction. And then also over here, there was a huge drop off in the sort of waterfall feature. So yeah, once again, there was just a very steep drop off. It was like a waterfall terrain that generated there. And basically, if we just use the free cam and move over here, you'll see I just covered the entire drop off. Look how steep it was. And it was just into a ravine. So I covered it just to make this area completely flat. I hope to fill that water in, but probably leave this water in place just because I think a little bit of a water feature would be pretty cool as well as that area as well. So I'm just going to fill that in as kind of cover up the sand as well. And then over here, there was a giant hill. And as you can see, this is part of where I'll hide the cliff actually was and I just flattened all this back just because if we're going to build a 35 by 35 hole it's pretty helpful if the area is completely flat to start with so now that this area is completely finished we gotta tear up this farm probably destroy some of these cows and uh, the villagers we can leave in there for now but we will eventually put them into their own spots in the base now what you see in front of you was once all beautiful farmland but I've now destroyed it I've covered up all the water so this will eventually just dry out and become dirt which then we can work on destroying the outer perimeter using the nether rack as an outline. We still have to destroy all of this stuff over here, but this is kind of our real money maker here. This was like the most profitable when it came to emeralds, which of course means we're going to make an auto pumpkin and melon farm down the line in the eventual base once it's finished being built up here. But yeah, we just have to work on draining all of the water here uh, just to kind of make sure our farmland uh, eventually dries out just to make it easier for when we have to destroy the hole. Okay, so now you guys can see even more of the plan. We've moved all the cows out. There's only two over there, so there will be some serious inbreeding once we have to get those guys back. But as you can see from the outline here, this is about the biggest uh, area we're planning to make. It's going to be, again, a 35 by 35 hole. It's not going to be 35 deep, of course. It's only going to be about nine blocks deep. But from there, we're going to be able to make ourselves a beautiful base below ground. All right, as you guys can tell, we've dug out the full... 35 by 35 hole it is currently nine deep although i might need to go a little bit deeper just to make this work additionally i just sorted everything i own into these chests so we have you know cobble here wood here stone other stones you know everything like that our villagers are still in here we do have to drop them down to the bottom level that's not going to be where they reside most likely i have a plan to make kind of like a platform here a staircase up another platform and then maybe some more staircases onto platforms so these guys might be hidden within the walls of our staircases it's kind of hard to explain but when this all gets built you'll understand so i do need to drop these guys down here at some point then to move them up later because they will probably go back up eventually so yeah we definitely need to get to building here i do want to mend up some of my pickaxes i kind of mind with my fortune pick just to make sure i have co a cobble for the upcoming observers and pistons when we need to make the farms and then also the other soak pick just so i have some more smooth stone to work with uh, of course subscribe to this chassis yes, five is my soak touch name why would you not name the pick with some self-promotion so i'm gonna go to the farm here it still has a perfect shot down here to this so i'm gonna go in here and uh, we can get to kind of mending these tools up and we are back after a bit of mining here, we actually lowered this hole by about three blocks here just to kind of make it proper for the base. If we go into the previously made villager breeder, all the villagers were dropped down into a bit of a water area and now they're all in that dirt cube right there, which means we can take 
this giant hideous cobblestone and just whatever mess blocks I could find area that we made here for the uh, previously made villagers, we can move all our chests down and begin starting the actual base construction. And once again, this area looks completely different than it did when I did the last cut here. As you can see, we now are working in the final workings and we're getting closer to what you saw on the thumbnail. So I do plan to layer glass on top of this, of course, just to make it where mobs can't just rain down on me when I'm inside the base. However, I do think it's pretty cool the way that we're using the slabs here to kind of make stairs and different elevated platforms. Now, the reason we dug out this giant, enormous square is because in these underbellies, we can put farms and kind of hide them away while making their, their output just be in the middle of these grass patches. So while a farm is kind of operating underneath, we can make a funnel kind of shoot up and have a collection area inside this grass patch or whatnot, and it can change depending on where we want to be. For example, uh, on this side, the villagers are still in here, and I plan to put the villagers back here in this little area of course we have a lot of space there and then under here we could put a melon and pumpkin farm so it's all kind of in the same area on this side we could put a sugarcane farm as well as some other farms all across hiding inside we also can hide our storage and at the very center we've uh, kind of based the whole base around the og original skeleton farm which is still down here producing so everything's kind of centered around that so it's easy xp for at least the early game and of course fido is still rocking out in the middle of the base all right guys we are back and as you can see we've basically finished the entire structure of the base so yeah, still we have to fill in these walls. I've kind of put some placing blocks in here just to kind of match up my stripes here because we're going to continue the outer walls of the stripes here and just kind of continue them upwards here following the pattern that we have already. So it's going to kind of follow up the walls here and all the way around, of course. I still need to put in a little bit more of staircases here, kind of on these upper sections. All four of these kind of have just a little bit of uh, some staircases past the glass. I'm not going to put it in every single one because there doesn't need to be two over there. Only probably one and maybe not even one on this side. I'm definitely gonna put one here and there, not one there, maybe one on here. Again, it's totally up to me, but I don't need a lot. So it's this is kind of where the symmetry is going to be broken, but in these sections here kind of have the starts of a base. So we have kind of a storage system in here. We have kind of a smelting room. I didn't really know what to do in here. Smelting room in here. Down here, I don't have anything yet, but we have just a lava farm, I guess. That's, that's about it. I had to put it away from everything so it didn't burn the wood, I guess because fire tick is not on or not off on this server. We do still have it on over here. We had uh, some villagers. I've been moved in from the downstairs. So uh, that room down there is just now housing all the villagers. A funny story about these guys. When I built this, uh, as you guys saw earlier, I didn't actually have this grass filled in. So it was just completely square. I then got attacked by a swarm of zombies and they all just flooded into here. So I basically had to defend the v villagers with my life. I almost died defending the villagers, but I just could not risk them turning into zombie villagers. So yeah, I almost died. But yeah, that is basically the starts of the base here. So still a lot of work to do here, but I just need to work on the walls. All right, so some time has gone by here. And as you can see, we've now completed all of the walls here. And in the back here, we've actually added a bit of a lava farm. So we've just kind of moved it from, I think it was in this opposite corner, just over here. So there's a whole ton of lava up here. If we use the free cam, you'll also see the lava up here. I actually put a ton of water around it because the fire spread does mean this wood is at risk of burning down. It's already happened once. I'm not trying to have it happen again. So yeah, that's just in the background of the furnace area where I'm smelting up a whole ton of sand to hopefully get some glass here because I do plan on putting glass over this entire area just to make it safe for mobs and because I think it will look cool. Additionally, in the background, I've just been working on the skeleton farm here i moved this side the enchanting table was on and then put a whole collection area down here for all of the bones and arrows which we're collecting as well uh the water streams still work i even put wood in here just to make it look a little bit better and match the aesthetic of the base other than that i think we're ready to start putting the glass on top and just like that we've now put the glass roof on here and i've actually done some more bits here such as adding this staircase up here another staircase over there and if we use the free cam to fly up here you'll see a third staircase over there i hope to put staircases kind of maybe even two here one there and maybe even one there although there's a bit of this hillside and i don't really think there's a need to get like a staircase over here because there's really nothing over there like here it's leading out to the sugarcane kind of pond over there and this is leading out to my portal and just obviously i need one to actually exit the place to begin with so it makes sense to put these staircases here but over there it doesn't really make sense so it's ultimately comes down to preference and where i want that but right now i'm kind of happy with the way it's turned out i kind of put a small wheat carrot and 
potato farm over here. In the background here, I've also added a sugarcane farm. So if we kind of use free cam, it really helps you see this a little bit better. We have a three decker sugarcane farm. I know I'm definitely losing some drops here because it gets stuck in the edge here when they get pushed across, for example. And I'm not too concerned about that, but it flows in through here. Again, I need some ice here and I think wandering traders sell blue ice, but of course I kill those guys on site. So it's not going to matter. I've also blocked my production hole here, which is a mistake. I'm going <laughs> to have to fix that. I haven't really noticed that. And then over here we have the pumpkin and melon farm and that is hooked up to over here if we again free cam is helping us so much here just to show off but pumpkin and melons we kind of have glass panes here so it hits that and is set down the middle here and that's all the way around here and let's watch these melons for example again blue ice or any really any ice can really help these guys speed up but you can see it goes up around and into this hopper here so that's just kind of some things i put in the background of course i showed this off in the last clip the lava farm is still working beautifully and i still need to figure out my storage system because uh yeah honestly it's too small I, I might need to move it up to like this one for example because if we go back here there's really nothing besides the pumpkin and melon farm so it might make sense to do it up here instead plus the reason i am using moss carpet up here is there's some upside down stairs which actually turn into an ability to kind of put these guys up on the roof so they can actually open so it kind of messes up the aesthetic because there's only one with the moss carpets on so honestly if i put the storage system up here it might make more sense and then over here we still have the villagers so overall the base is actually turning out really awesome okay so we are back at the base here and as we can see we have finished a new project and that new project is of course hooking up my first ever zombie in here this guy is zombert he's in here and i'm just using him to make let's see if we can beat the cart oh yeah we did these guys now trade me one pumpkin and melon for an emerald so any melons or pumpkins we get See, it's the problem. I blocked the cart. I'm trying to collect the, the small babies that pop out and uh, just put them into their forever cells where they will just forever trade me stuff. But as you can see, we have a whole ton of pumpkin and melons which are being produced with the farm below here, uh, which we showed off in the last clip. Pumpkin and melons just being produced there, and we can sell those for emeralds apiece where we can then trade it for the books in the future. Again, I'm not too worried about actually lowering the overall health and uh, trades for the actual book guys because... Trading for like 42 emeralds, as bad as that is, it's so easy to get the actual emeralds from those guys where I'm not too concerned about it. So that's those guys all finished up there and just some more corridors of the base just being finished off here. So with that, a lot of the area is being finished. You may also notice I have a, a nether portal. I kind of breezed over this, but it was just a small thing. We had the portal up here at first, but I uh, just moved it down here. It still hooks up to the original portal I had, which I used to abduct the villagers uh, and get them in there here, as well as find the first ever nether fortress. I got a enough ender or what are they called eyes of ender here to actually get these portal open which of course we're going to do with the other hypercraft guys and actually probably beat the dragon together make a nice little event out of that so that will come down the line but we just found a uh, fortress with that portal and i even have this area over here it's a doorbell and it just provides the uh rotten flesh and golden stuff from the zombie fly piglins that come through here it's an all you can eat buffet with the egg here so that's the same thing i had in realm Tale season two so i just decided it'd be pretty cool to have there as well it's really annoying with the piglins running around so i like that so yeah with that that's basically the entire starter base and although it is starting to rain i want to say a big thank you for watching this video it is episode two now done and dusted and if you liked the episode make sure to leave it a like and if you really liked it make sure to subscribe thanks again for watching stay tuned for more